Hello students! Today is all about uh, harmony and in particular we're going to look at something called triads. Uh, triads are groups of three notes all played together. Uh, of course when we play a brass instrument we can only play one note but if you imagine instruments like um, the piano or the guitar these are instruments that can play chords and a triad. Chords are when we play notes all at the same time, and a triad is a group of three notes that we play all at the same time. Uh, and triads make up the bulk of our Western harmony. When we talk about things like chords and all this, we have to have a pretty thorough understanding of triads. So we're going to take a look at this through the lens of the being a brass player. Um, if you're not familiar, uh, and we haven't gone over this before, a chord, again, is notes played all at the same time. We can't do that by ourselves. We need a group of us to play, but we can play the notes one at a time. And when we do that, that is called an arpeggio. So today we're going to look at triads, and through the lens of brass, we'll be playing these triads as arpeggios. All right, if you're in the red book still, there's um, on page 42, uh, there's a list of all the major scales, um, or at least many of them. And in the latter half of that, it says, the, it says arpeggio. So um, the first, the three notes that we use for a, a major chord or a major triad are the first note of the scale, the third note of the scale, and the fifth note of the scale. So you could look at the scale page and just pick out one, three, and five. Or if you want, you can look at the first three notes of the arpeggio. And we're going to go over each of these individually. Major scales are the most important thing to learn. Uh, both get them in your fingers or in your hands if you're a trombone player. Uh, getting these scales in, in your body is so important for understanding all of this uh, material when it comes to harmony, because most harmony is discussed uh, as it relates to major uh, in some way. So let's just take a look uh, at our very first uh, triad. We're going to do what's called a major triad, and we're going to do C major for trumpets. Uh, this is going to be the concert B flat for everybody else that's playing for trumpets. <laughs> uh, and again, it's the, fir it's the first, we call that the root, the third, note of the scale and the fifth note of the scale. So for uh, tr as trumpet players, that's C, E, and G makes up a C major triad. Okay, and we made that an arpeggio by playing the notes one at a time. So I'll C major again. Now these notes extend through our range, so as high as you can play and as low as you can play, you can still play a C major triad. It's still the same three notes. We have C, E, G, and if we recycle that, we can hit the C above that, and then the E above that, and the G above that. So it's those three notes, and they also extend downward. So if we're playing C, we could go down to G. For now, we're just going to stick to the three notes because I want to explore all the different kinds of triad <coughs> triads with you today. Uh, but just so you know, right, those are the same groups of notes and they kind of sound the same. You could play them all together. Also have that low G available to us as well, right? So major triad, pretty simple. Let's take a look at some um, some other keys in the next segment. Okay, uh, if you uh, have a little more experience, you've probably learned many of these major arpeggios already. Again, in the red book, though, uh, if you look, there are four different keys on that page. There's uh, concert B flat, we call that concert E flat concert F and concert A flat. So we can play that major or uh, triad using any of these keys by just looking at the notes that they listed for us on the page. So um, 
E concert E flat major, that's our F major. If we look at the book, that's F, A, and C. Right? Pretty simple. Root, first note, third, and fifth. Let's look at uh, concert F. This is our G major for trumpets. First three notes are G, B, and D. That's our G major triad. Uh, we also have B flat is the very last one. Our concert A flat uh, is our B flat. And that's the root is B flat, the third is D, and the fifth is F. So I'm going to go through those four kind of kind of quickly. I'll say it and play it. I'm going to switch around so I can see my music because I I don't know which keys they are without looking. So here's C major, F major. We have G major, and we have B flat major. Now, of course, if you um, have worked through the Coker book or some of the arpeggios in the Arbenz book, you know a great deal more of these major arpeggios. You know, say E flat or D flat. Okay, and you can you go if you're really advanced, you can just go through those, right? C, D flat, D. Etc. Right, and you can just go through all those. In the remaining uh, sections here of the video, I want to show you how to make the other kinds of triads. Okay, for purposes of our video, we're going to stick to just using concert B flat or R C for trumpets to just keep it simple. But of course, we want to be able to apply these to as many keys as we can. Uh, after the major triad, the most important, most common one we come across is the minor triad. And the only difference in the minor triad is we take the third. So in C we have C and our third is E. We take our third and we lower it. Now you may not have learned this note yet, but if you do know your fingerings, you can either look this up in the back of the book or you can use the trick I may have taught you where we just go down a fingering. So that's going to be, that's called E flat, and C minor triad is C, E flat, and G, and it has a little different character to it. There's a little bit of kind of maybe some people think it sounds sad or more thoughtful maybe or uh, darker, a bunch of different words people use to describe minor. Now again, we can go through these uh, in any key. So in F, we have F, A is our third for major. We can use this, that trick or we can look it up to find A flat. And we can get the F minor triad. <laughs> Again, it kind of has a little bit of a different character from major, doesn't it? Uh, let's look. take a look at the, the remaining two kinds of triads. Alright, so there are two other kinds of triads we see somewhat regularly. Uh, and the first one is called the augmented triad. And again, it's the same as the major triad, but now we're going to change the fifth. Okay? So we've had... This is again our major triad, C, E, and G. We're going to raise the G. What note comes higher than G? If you're not sure, you can look it up. We're looking for G sharp, and that is this fingering. That makes up our G, or C, that's our C augmented triad. <laughs> quite interesting isn't it <laughs> so that's their augmented triad we have our root again that's the first note the third and the fifth note compared to major is raised 
pretty simple. Right? Let's take a look at the other one. Okay, the remaining triad that we're going to talk about is the diminished triad. And like augmented, where we where we took the fifth and changed it, we're going to change the fifth, but we're going to start with the minor triad. If you remember minor, that's C, E flat, and G. And we're going to lower it this time. So instead of G, we're going to go down. And then again, that's G flat. You can figure out the fingering if you're not sure. But we just go down a fingering to two. So that's C, our root. E flat and to make it diminished we lower G to G flat <laughs> case we can still play the low G flat it's way down here it's the lowest note on the trumpet right all right so in the last segment here we'll just review all four kinds and we'll just stick it in the key of C but again you can use the, the red book page 42 to go through all these or if you know your major uh, triads already it's pretty easy to uh, just tweak them a little bit and start to learn your minors or your augmented or your diminished. All right, quick review on all four kinds of triads that we talked about today. Uh, we have, we're going to again stick to the key of C for trumpets or B flat major concert. Uh, C major, we all know that one pretty well, C, E, and G. And maybe we'll go back and forth a couple times so we can get the sound of these triads in our ear. C minor, we take the third and lower it. C augmented, we do the major and we but we raise the fifth. And finally diminished is minor, but we lower the fifth. So C, E flat, G flat. Just doing a rapid succession major. C minor. C augmented. C diminished. All right, so you can, there's a lot of different uh, harmony happening there. When we just change one of the note at a time, uh, we created a whole different uh, type of harmony and a whole different character, a whole different sound to a chord, or in our case, an arpeggio. Hope you had some fun uh, with some triads today, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye now.